Good morning. It is Wednesday, December 14, 2016, and we're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome in the news. Large areas of the banana company, Phi, is cleared of the Moku virus. Flex tank water shipment test successful. For the first time, two disabled persons will take part in the youth parliament elections as candidates. And Union at VCB Bank is not happy that they were left out of the plans to merger. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall. This is the local news. Large areas of the banana company, Food and Agricultural Industries, FI, that were infected with the Moko virus have already been cleared, says Michael Salins, president of the FI Workers Union. The company managed pretty well in combating the virus by clearing all infected areas. Salins further indicates that this virus was under the ground and spread via water thus making eradicating it very difficult. Therefore, they worked in the dry season to combat the virus. The arrival of the virus has resulted in loss of revenue for the company. Salins says that the banana is a fruit that is very popular in Europe and beyond. Thus, if the virus is not properly addressed, the sector will die. The areas that were infected with the Moko virus are now completely disinfected. The workers of the company have started with planting new banana crops. The bananas go through a whole process before they are packaged for export. The fruit is exported green so that when it reaches its place of destination, it's ripe and ready to be eaten. Salon says there is much work to be done and calls on Surinamese who are unemployed to join the banana company Phi because, he says, he's accused of preferring to work with Asians. Salons is convinced that a time will come again when the company will make profits. This will allow them to remain on the market and deliver good quality. Amazon Resources confirms that the test shipment of the Flex Tank on Wednesday, December 7, from Paramaribo to Barbados has been successful. From the Netherlands, the director of the Amazon Resources, Alka Peak, shared the good news with the SDVS team. Because the Flex Tank has proven its seaworthiness, the organization, after consultation with its business partners, has decided to let the tugboat dock in Curacao. Mr. Peak explained why that was done and what the benefits are. The director endorses this as good performance because the test shipment is the initial project of Amazon Resources. Two young people with disabilities will, for the first time since the creation of the Youth Parliament, participate in the elections as candidates. They are Jalissa Van Heaton and Kirti Binda. We had a conversation with Jalissa to find out what motivated her to participate in the elections for the Youth Parliament. December last year, the Minister of Social Affairs and Housing, Joan Dogoyo, called on young people with disabilities to be part of the youth elections, and her call seemed to have been heard. The submission of list of candidates for the National Youth Parliament elections took place on December 5 at the various supervisory boards in Parabarbo and the districts. In Marawena, four candidates have submitted their documents for participation. Of the 74 registered in Paramaribo Southwest, 56 managed to submit on time. Seven young people from Saramaka have applied for the National Youth Parliament, 17 from Nikeri, and four from Koroni. The Electoral Commission will examine the authenticity of the documents that the youngsters have submitted. The list will be screened by the Commission, then it will be announced if the candidates have been accepted. 
In addition, the Commission checks that the supporters of the candidates are entitled to vote. The election of the Youth Parliament will take place on Wednesday, February 8, 2017. The purpose of the Youth Parliament of Suriname is to involve young people in the policy making of the government. The National Youth Parliament was founded on November 3, 2004. The term of the members of the Youth Parliament is three years. Members of the Youth Parliament can be elected for up to two terms. The final item for local news today is that the union at the Surinamese Fox Credit Bank, VCB, feels that they have been left out in the planning of the government to merge the bank with the Surinamese Post Spar Bank, SPSB. Yesterday, the union held a short strike as a sign of dissatisfaction about the plan. The union indicates that it is not against merging the banks, but it should be done according to proper procedure. Previously, these banks have announced the move to merger. This is disclosed in accordance with Union President Robbie Berenstain, and the union also have been involved in every step of the process. But the new plan to merge with the SPSB has not been sufficiently discussed, the union claims. Due to the short strike of the union, all branches of the VCB and the Landball Bank opened their doors late, 11 a.m. in the morning. This caused annoyance to many customers who waited by the doorsteps of the VCB for the opening of the doors. The press asks Berenstain if the VCB is not the VCB is not affected by the reports of disgruntled staff and also the strike. The union of the VCB and the Landbau Bank have drafted letters for the Minister of Finance, the Governor of the Central Bank of Suriname, and the Supervisory Board of the bank. They gave them a week to come with an answer especially from the Minister of Finance. Berenstain yesterday at a press conference also discussed the content of the letters. It is still unclear as to how and when the merger will take place. It was however announced that Director of the VCB has appointed to function as of January 1, 2017. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow, same time, same station for more. Have a wonderful day.